but that one... That one kind of takes the cake above all else. I mean... Cultural myths and so forth, you know, I never... I'm not gonna be the one to talk smack about them. Alright, I gotta take a look at that map again. So... Where are we going? We've gotta get down to... City at the bottom. I don't even think we have the right radio adapter, do we? So I'm not picking anything up. Where do we even get the radio adapter? Hmm. Wait. Alright, maybe we do have it. Maybe we do have it. Yeah, that sounds like the poke flute. Alright, so we're going to be heading west and south. Cool. And, oh god. I have now put on music. Alright, let's just get the hell... Wait, what are you telling me? Okay, so I can't head through this direction? Can I head around? Alright, let's take a look. Can I just walk around here? No, I can't. Alright, I guess we're going to be taking the long way south of Lavender Town. So, let's see. Can I fly there? I should be able to fly there. Uh, there. Alright, so, this is where we're going to call it, guys. But I will see you tomorrow when we will be back. For more Pokemon and less talk about detachable vaginas. So, till then, peace out. Hey everyone, it's Istvan82. We're back for more Pocket Monsters Gold. Alright, let's see what we can do about a planty gym. I think this is plant. We'll find out. This is probably going to be another really, really one sided battle. And the creepy twins again. Always with the creepy twins. Level 35. Sinuses are a little stuffy. Alright, now let's see how... Oh yeah, they're not particularly weak or strong. And then sleep powder. You asshole. Alright, you know what? Fine. I was going to be nice about this, but we're going with the fire type. We're just... Yeah, we're just going straight fire. Because you're an asshole. Wow, really? That took four hit points. Please just give up now. Flamethrower, I think that is. It looks like it would be flamethrower. Yes, it's super effective. Do <laughs> Alright, now let's see how quickly we can get through this gym. More flame in your face. Face thrower, as it were. And dead. Alright, we're... We're getting there. I mean, with any luck... I'm gonna switch just so my fire types in front. I don't even care about trying to level my Pokemon anymore. I'm pretty sure that with our levels we can take everything left in you know, Kanto. And one way or another, I think one of these assholes is gonna attack us, so or both of these assholes are gonna attack us no matter what we do. <laughs> dun 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 Weird purple hair child. And not, I don't know. Some of the grass type Pokemons are the one. Pokemons. Pokemon are the ones that usually end up looking the weirdest to me. Uh, I guess it's just their design, but they're supposed to look more natural, I suppose. Uh, they. I don't know. It's hard to explain. They all end up looking like weird balls. 
<laughs> that, I guess that's supposed to be some sort of dandelion monster. But to me, it looks like an angry blueberry. And the music. The damnable music. Yeah, see? They're all balls. I mean, that's just that one particular species of Pokemon, but... You get what I'm talking about here. They, they all just look so similar, it's... Oh, well. I suppose, in the long run, you can only have so many shapes and... Oh, wow, we only had to fight one of them. Cool. But then we have to fight this bitch. The bitch with the curly hair. What are you? What's your battle sprite? What's your trainer sprite? I'm curious. Ah, a whore. So... I guess this is the slut type gym. Well, aside from the little children at the front, which that's a frightening combination now that I think about it, but... Everyone else in this gym kind of dressed like a hoe bag. This is not the right time to try and climb on my lap, cat. Especially because this chair is not large enough for you to do so. I swear to God, she loves to wait until I am recording, then try and just climb all over me. But, all right, we killed, yeah, the execute. Um, let's see who's next. Uh, executor, maybe? Oh, no, Parasect. Well, you're dead, too. See, this is, like you said, that's the... See, if I had a gym, I think... I think I would, you know, have at least one Pokemon in my party at any given point in time that was also the type strong against the type that the gym was. Or the type the gym is weak against. So, like, a plant gym. Weak against fire. Keep a water Pokemon in your party. Just one, because you know the person's going to throw out the damn fire Pokemon as soon as they have the chance. Alright, let's battle a gym leader. How do you look? Right, you look a little... You look you look kind of refined and cool. You're not really a hoe bag. You're Tangula. Tangula doesn't look that slutty either. Now, I suppose it's hard for a Pokemon to look slutty. I mean... I mean, I just am guessing there. I, I don't want to know if otherwise is capable. There, there is frightening things on the internet. Mm, yeah. Uh, it's best not to ask questions sometimes. And you die, hopefully. Yes. Awesome. Let's just... Oh yeah, I'm just gonna keep using the fire type. There's no point in switching over to a Pokemon that will just get put to sleep. <laughs> Wonder why... Well, I guess they want to try and keep the gym levels somewhat uh, accurate to the first game, but I can't help but wonder why they didn't make them more powerful considering you beat the Elite Four by the time you get here. That just looked creepy. I mean... Not like creepy as in there is something wrong with it. it well, you know, it, it looks like I'm killing a little plant-like hula dancer. And, uh, while we're on the subject of weird stuff. And uh, let's see, I'll get the gym badge and blah, blah, blah. But, so apparently there is a Hawaiian myth and legend about one of the gods who is essentially a gigantic man slut and he was chasing the goddess Pele and you know basically trying to rape her according to the legend and Pele's sister 
in order to uh, distract him so Pele could get away safely, detached her vagina and threw it to distract him. And, yeah. Detached vagina. Just whipped it and he went, oh, vagina, and ran after it. So, this is an actual Hawaiian legend. Now, on top of this, apparently there is a hill somewhere, or a little mountainous area or something, named after it, because it's supposedly, like, where it landed or something, and the name of the hill is Detached Vagina. That's right, the hill is named Detached Vagina. I've heard some weird, you know, traditional stories before,